Now the shooting comes as college students return for the start of the new semester. News 10 ABC Skylar Eagle telling us about the message local leaders and colleges have for those students. Albany Mayor Kathy Sheehan is calling for local universities to work with city leaders to prevent uncontrollable gatherings after police attempted to break up crowds, fighting with each other and throwing glass bottles at officers early Sunday morning. Police have not said whether or not the gathering was a group of students. In a statement on Sunday, she said, I am also calling on the leaders of the student associations from the universities and colleges in the city to work together with my office, as well as the Albany Police Department and their school administrations to stop disrupting their neighbors' quality of life and assaulting police officers, and to ensure they hold their peers accountable. Moments after police arrived, six people were injured in a shooting just blocks from the College of St. Rose. The College of St. Rose did confirm no students were involved in the shooting, sending an email to the campus community over the weekend detailing precautions students can take to stay safe in surrounding neighborhoods as classes begin. They're warning students to avoid large gatherings in Midtown and Downtown Albany, telling students there is no safe way to be in these crowds, especially at night. Some other tips, staying aware of your surroundings, avoid dark and isolated areas, and take advantage of the college's security measures, including a 24-7 escort service. The University at Albany is also telling students how they can stay safe, noting the recent increase in crime across the city. You Albany police are telling students to walk in groups of three or more when possible, avoid large parties with people you don't know, drink responsibly and safely, and they're telling students to report anything suspicious they may see. A spokesperson for you Albany says they also have off-campus ambassadors who work to share safety information with their residents and programming on weekends to help prevent partying. Reporting in Albany, Skyler Eagle, News 10, ABC.